What's up again, everybody? Welcome back to the tutorial. We're going to be showing you how to create a toolbar today. So if we wanted to load in Serum for, from our toolbar, we just click it. It loads up right here and it will load in with whatever you want to save on it. So this one has a RIA EQ with negative 16 dB for gain staging purposes. But if we wanted to start from scratch, this is how you do it. Start a new track, insert whatever you want, and I'll do Serum. Now you can also add on effects to this if you wanted to save that in your track template. I always do a RIA EQ, so I'll just go here, search that. And let's say we also want to add the RE EQ. So let's say we want our Serum to now load up with these effects on it. I'm just going to right click it and save tracks as template. Save that. Now it's in our track template list. So if we go up to extensions, also make sure you have SWS extensions installed. It is completely free and the link is in the description. All right, so go down to resources and you're going to notice on yours, you'll probably only have 12 slots here. I'll show you how you can add more, so don't worry about that. Just make sure on the drop down, you're under track template. Right click on an empty slot and go to load slot file. This should preload to your track templates. If it doesn't and it goes to your Reaper folder, don't worry, just go down to track templates. And if you ever need help finding your Reaper folder, just go to options and go to show Reaper resource path. And so let's go back in here, load the slot. Under track templates, uh, we'll go off of the date. That's the one I just created. So we'll load that up. And now that is in slot 55. It's very important to remember, do not ever change the slot numbers inside of here because that's where it's going to be loading from. So next we would just create a toolbar. So I have this one here. I also have this one. For my UHE synths, I also have this one, which has all the synths that I have. And then I also have this one, which has uh, some VST effects, plugins and stuff like that from kilohertz and the like. If you want to create a toolbar, just go up to anywhere on your empty toolbar. Mine's been heavily customized, as you can see. But if I right click in the toolbar area, open a new toolbar that I haven't used. Let's go to toolbar 13. OK, and then right click it and customize it. Go up to add. So now you're going to be finding that slot. So you can open up the resources and you can scroll down to whatever slot you want. This is slot 55. To find that, all you need to type in is import track and it will show you slot numbers here. You can scroll down to 55 or you could just type in 55. There it is. That's where it's going to be pulling from. And let me close this here so you can see the toolbar. So now that we're in here, we'll just hit select and it will load right here. You're going to want to rename this so that you know what it is when you hover over it. Even though it will have an icon, it's just a good idea to always rename this. So that is going to be your custom icon. Now you can go further than this and customize it fully by going into icon and going to change icon. And you could download the icon sets from online. You could look up Serum. You could, I have a bunch of different ones that I've made myself. Just keep in mind when you make icons, it is different than just importing one file. There's actually three images to each icon. So if I just zoom in right here, you'll see that this is the file when it's showing up in Reaper. This is the file when you hover over it. And this is the part of the file where you select it. When you hover over anything, I have it changed to a green hue. Now, if you want to learn how to edit those icons, I can show you how to do this in the video right up here. So go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how to edit your own icons. If not, you just want to go ahead and load up anything that Reaper already has. A lot of these icons will already be in your Reaper. Let's just type in Serum because that's the one I've saved it as. And let's do that one. That's a nice large image. So that's when it's actually selected. If we save that, you'll see that my toolbar has now changed. I need to make it larger so I can see it. And when you resize this, Reaper will automatically save what size you've saved this toolbar to. So you won't have to change that again. We can go in here and get rid of this one that says edit me. Save it. And now we have a custom toolbar. Now, if you want that toolbar to come up by hitting one button, then you can go up to actions, search the toolbar that you're using. So this is toolbar 13. So if I scroll down here to toolbar, open, close toolbar 13 and create a shortcut for it. I'm not going to do that, but if I did, then they would pop up just as you would like this, just by using your shortcut key. And if you're like me, I'm a very visual person and I like being able to just look and click on whatever one I want and load it up. All right. So last but not least, how do you change the number of slots you have in here? So in the resources, you're going to have 12 slots by default. I go to import track. 
you guys will only have four slots here. To change this, you're just going to go to Options, Show Reaper Resource Path, scroll down to you'll get to snm.ini. Select it and copy it. Create a new folder. I've already done that here, but create a new folder, okay, and view that file and rename it to SNM2. So now double click it, open it up, and you'll see under max slot, you should only have 12. You can change this to as large of a number as you like. And then you can hit control F for find and just type in import. And you'll see right here, this is the part of the file that you want to change. This right here will be defaulted to four. Change this to as many slots as you have VSTs for. Maybe even give yourself extra room if you're going to get more VSTs in the future. Now go ahead and exit out of the file and make sure you save it. And now copy this file. Go back into the Reaper file. Paste it and then delete this file and rename this one back to SNM. I can't do this with Reaper open, so what you'll have to do is close Reaper, delete this file, and rename SNM2 to SNM. And when you reopen Reaper and go to resources, you'll now have as many slots as you've added here. You'll see that you have the same amount of slots that you've changed in the file. Now, if you'd like to learn how to do this toolbar up here, this is going to be VST plugins. It is done in a separate way with FX chains. So check out this video up here if you'd like to learn more about how to make your FX chains. And that's about it. So if you have any questions on this, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to respond to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching the channel and we'll see you on the next one.